Okay, it's time for some review questions. How about one on lattice energy? Let's list five different energies that are needed to determine the overall lattice energy of sodium chloride using the Born-Haber method. I like to remember this as starting with stuff that you can have like in your hand and then think about each thing that might happen stepwise before they form that ionic uh, compound. Well, you'd start with sodium solid and chlorine gas. The sodium solid, the quickest way to figure out how it turns into a gas would be to sublime it. So we'll need the sublimation energy of sodium solid. The chlorine is Cl2, and that's got to dissociate. And you do the, uh, just there, divided by 2. Otherwise, you'll end up with two chlorine atoms and one sodium atom. Very good. Now, let's see. They need to ionize both the sodium atom and the chlorine atom. The missing piece there is they're now ready to come together. That would be the lattice energy. So I'd probably write 5 lattice energy there. I don't think it did for this problem, but that's where it would go. And you'd compare those four pieces of data to the overall enthalpy of the reaction, which is right there, where you'd actually do the chemical reaction, see how exothermic it was, tally up that data. The missing piece that would equal the total is the lattice energy.